I was having lunch, and the Senate, uh, the Senate uh, dining room has a press table, and uh, we were, uh, it was, what, you know, 12, 30, quarter one, something like that, and somebody ran by and yelled in, uh, Kennedy's been shot. And everybody leapt up and, you know, went to their phones. And uh, uh, the desk told me, uh, you know, get reaction. Uh, so I went down to the, uh, what's known as the, uh, the uh, marble room, which is the, as an ante room behind the Senate chamber. Uh, because I knew that the senator, the senator, Senate went into immediate recess, which meant that you could go down into that marble room. And I went down there, and there, gathered around the AP ticker was five or six senators, and Richard Russell of Georgia. And as the copy was coming out of the machine, he was reading it out loud to these senators. And when he got President Kennedy died today at whatever, 123. I looked and his tears were coming down his face. And they all, you know, they all, you know, this sent, I don't remember the name, uh, Hickenlooper, Russell, um, they all turned, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, ashen faced and walked away. Um, uh, of course, the, the story that night was all out of Texas and, uh, and the return uh, to Washington of, uh, of President Johnson, now new President Johnson. And then uh, from that point on, it was, uh, it was a matter of, of covering uh, those days of mourning that the nation was going through. I was on the Hill and uh, President Kennedy was lying in state and I remember going up and the line of mourners, just people lined up to go through a, a stretched 15, 20 blocks way back to Maryland Avenue. And uh, uh, and I remember, it seems to me that in the middle of that line was Jersey Joe Walcott, a prize fighter whose time had passed and he was, had come all the way down from New Jersey just to be in line. Uh, uh, and, and, so I remember, uh, I remember my wife at home with our two children and she began to cry watching the television and my son uh, Daniel who was then maybe 70 would have been uh, five or six went and turned off the television because that was what was making her cry you know, he un <laughs> understood so that was every every family must have gone through something like that um, but um, our, our coverage was uh, very spare, and I remember um, I remember on the hill uh, just simply allowing uh, just the sound of people moving, and I, I said very little, very little, and you didn't need to. I mean, it was such a it was. <clears throat> It was uh, it was uh, almost uh, majestic, the the, uh, the dignity that the people showed toward the memory of the president. And what about the, the uh, funeral itself? Yeah, I'm just trying to. Uh, I uh, I'm trying to remember. It, it, I was, uh, I'm just trying to think where I, it seems to me I was at the Lincoln Memorial on the roof. I don't know, God, I don't know how I got up there, but uh, you know, we were following it from, uh, 
from the cathedral over to uh, uh, and, and well, what we it was it, we, we would pass it from one correspondent to another, and I remember I I was on the hill and then went down the memorial and did my thing there and then passed it over. I think Bill Leonard took it across the bridge and then it was over uh, the next reporter. So I was uh, that that, about, that was the, about the end of my coverage. But you, I mean, you uh, you just sort of didn't think. That could happen to us. I mean, it was uh, you know nobody had ever uh, you know uh, when was the last president we uh, was it McKinley was it who was assassinated mm -hmm. uh, 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 Garfield mm -hmm. and McKinley was it McKinley McKinley was assassinated was he not yes mm -hmm. McKinley so uh, so this had been this is nineteen so this is sixty five years. The whole generation of Americans had never known anything like this. 